Mountain Dew. I call bullshit. Hey guys, Explosive Pop Tart, and welcome back to another video. Now, today we're going to be doing. I didn't even grab the thing we're going to be doing, so let me be right back. We're going to be doing Voodoo. Mountain Dew Voodoo. Whoops. 2022 edition. I'm excited to give this a shot. Um, I've had the last three of them that they've done. This is fourth version that they've done, and I'm sure it's going to taste exactly like the one from last year, but. Supposedly they're different every year. The good thing about these is at least they changed the art on the can. Let's fully appreciate the awesomeness of this art. Check it out. Same old uh, voodoo uh, uh, Grim Reaper guy holding up a four, I believe. Yeah. No, He's no longer doing the finger thing. Usually he does this. Like with the last one he went like this. And then with the other one he went like this. Um... And now he's, he has a ring on his finger that's a four. That's interesting. Before I pour it and get weirded out by the color, I'm going to go ahead and take a whiff. It smells very similar to last year's and the last year's before that and the year before that as well. Maybe it tastes different. See, I'm trying to think of Halloween stuff that would taste like this. I feel like I guess the same shit every year, so I'm not very fun, but it definitely has a citrus flavor, so I'm going to go with fucking apples. It's apple cider. Jesus Christ, Mountain Dew, stop hardballing me here. Let's see what color this is. Dude, I, I smell apples. I smell apples. It's definitely like a citrus flavor, so it's, it's kind of cloudy. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to put this in the freezer, let it get cold. I'm not going to put ice cubes in it. I'm just going to put it in the freezer, let it get cold, and take it out, see if it's better cold. Maybe that's what it is, because I'm used to drinking voodoo colds. By the way, on account of what I just said, by the way, what I just said, complete bullshit. I figure that I just put some ice cubes in it on account of that being a shit fucking idea because it, literally anything could happen in the ice box and then boom, I got fucking Mountain Dew Voodoo all over the place. Mountain Dew. If you play me again this year, I swear to God I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Obviously I can't do anything about it, so you got the upper hand on me, but... Don't try lying to me. This is fucking apple cider, dude. Don't even lie to me. It's fucking apple cider. It's so apple-y. There's, there's nothing else I could think of. I mean, that's like the most Halloween thing. I mean, at least with me, I like drinking warm apple cider on Halloween. I mean, this is literally the most apple-y flavored thing I've ever had. For Mountain Dew's Voodoo for 2022, which, by the way, again... Fully appreciate their cool cans and packaging because it's honestly one of the best things about the Mountain Dew Company is they put so much thought and detail into their cans. And this is honestly probably my favorite can. It's not. It's still not as good as the other three in my opinion. Um, something about the very first Voodoo that ever came out was really special and that one still has stuck with me. I remember buying a lot of bottles of that one. But this is pretty good. So give her a shot if you haven't already. And by the way, Art by Nicole... I am sorry I couldn't get a hold of the Zero Sugar one. I will definitely try to get a hold of one of those before I uh, before they stop selling them. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't forget about your comment, by the way. But Bay bought this, and I said I might as well just do it again this year. But I will definitely get a hold of the Zero Sugar, so stay tuned. We'll find out if that one's good or if it's better than this one because I'm a big fan of Zero Sugar drinks. Either way, see you guys next one. Bye-bye.